Now that you're a Whip City Fiber customer, you're probably wondering how you're going to view your bills and make payments. I'm here to help you to show you what you can expect once you've finally been installed. The first thing is we're going to send you an email letting you know that you can sign up to the billing portal. You're going to click on this link here, and once you click on the link, you're going to create a username and password so that you can access your billing portal. Now that you've created your username and password, you're going to come to this screen here and you're going to see Billing and Payments. Your bill, you'll be able to click on View so that you can see your bill and see the charges and what you're being charged for. There is a download button here if you want to do a PDF printout of your bill. Otherwise, you can just look down here. You can see the dates that you are being charged for service and the amount. Now, please know, when this is your first bill, you are being prorated for the service. We're charging you for the time that you've been installed to the end of that month plus the following month. Your first bill is probably going to be a little bit higher than you expected, but then going forward, um, you're going to see just 30 days of, of billing. So now that you've viewed your bill, you're probably going to wonder how you're going to make a payment. If you click on My Profile, you're going to see that you can add a bank account or a credit card. If you're going to add a credit card, you're going to want to enter the account number, the expiration date, the security code on the back of the card, along with the billing zip code. If you decide to do a check-in account, you are going to need your account number, your routing number, and the name on the account. Now with the check-in account, it is going to be a two-step process. So once you've entered this information, you're gonna wanna go back and check your statements. I would say in the next day, we're gonna have deposited two small amounts onto your account. And by two small amounts, I mean under a dollar. So it could be like 10 cents and 50 cents. And then once you have those two small amounts, you're gonna wanna come back into your billing portal. You're gonna wanna go back to my profile and there's going to be a section where you can add those two small amounts. Once you do that, it's going to tell you your account has been verified and now you can make a payment. Now when you make a payment, there's a couple of ways you can do this. One, you can do a one-time payment every month, or you can do auto pay. Auto pay is where you just set it and forget it. So on the due date, that payment is going to pull. Now, a lot of customers do like the auto pay. It's uh, more of a, a, a convenience feature for you. But if you decide you want to do a one-time payment, you're gonna come down here, you're gonna select how you're paying, so if you selected a bank account, you're gonna select on bank account, and um, then you're going to put the amount that you wanna pay, and then you're gonna hit pay. Now, if you wanna do auto pay, you're going to wanna select auto pay. It usually takes about five seconds, and then it'll tell you you're on auto pay. Please know that the town does get charged um, when you use a credit card. So they do prefer if you use a checking account as they will not be um, charged an additional fee. So now that I've walked you through how to view your bills and make payments, maybe you still have questions and that's okay. Please know that we're here for you and you can always reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to guide you through the process.